everyone and welcome to Vilasat for All YouTube channel. Today we have with us young and talented technical engineer Mr. Vishal Moladia with us. He did his B.Tech in Electronics and Communication from Villa Vishwakarma Mahavidyalaya, and he and he has been volunteer for various events. He has participated in a lot of NCC activities and now he is currently working in, in Scale Edge Technology as a verification engineer. It is a great honor to have you with us, Mr. Guru, Mr. Mr. Vishal Maludia. Congratulations on getting placed at Scale Edge Technology. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Vilase, for all for giving me this opportunity to just uh, like uh, guide our uh, like viewer, YouTube viewer, with my knowledge. I'm not too much experienced, but I am like young, like just fresher. So I will guide uh, those B Tech fresher and all. Okay, yeah, thank you. Shamudia, can you uh, can you introduce yourself to the audience, please? Once one formal introduction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So hi everyone. I just uh, passed out my B Tech in this uh, twenty one. So after like uh, completed my B Tech, uh, I just got placed into the verification company. Like currently, I am working in the Scale Edge uh, Technology, who's previously known as a uh, Perfect VIPs. Uh, I passed out my B.Tech in some kind of Tier Three college, so you can like uh, most of you are from the Tier Two college, so they might be understand uh, like uh, how the like everything infrastructure and the uh, technical things is going on. So that that's it from like uh, is my introduction. I just did a B.Tech only in this twenty one batch. Okay, th thank you for your brief introduction. And uh, my next question is that would you like to tell you uh, would you like to tell us something about the company that you are currently working in? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's a good question. Yeah. Currently, I'm working the Scale Edge technology, as I previously said. So my current uh, current company is working on the most of uh, in the verification department. So like my current company is uh, uh, like this service based company. So it is providing service to various company like Synopsys, Qualcomm, and uh, all the different different clients so like uh, they are providing service based on the verification ips and uh, our company is currently also working on the pd department they are they just start the, just started the rtl department also and the our company currently also growing on the embedded department so like uh, this is a multinational company so they had around uh, uh, seven to eight branches uh, including ahmedabad bangalore hyderabad noida pune and etc so yeah, that's about my current company. Okay, that's a very, very brief introduction. Any resources and platform that you want to mention in order to uh, gain the technical skills and also mention mention the skills that are that they are important for your for your profession and and that should be learned for that should be learned for the beginners to get into the get into into the industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good question. So. As per the fresher, like uh, we are all are fresher whenever we are uh, completing our B.Tech. So our main ultimate goal is to get placed in some core company. Yeah, because uh, today's scenario is like uh, all the company are the software based company and uh, all the person are going into the software. So no, to being in a core company is very difficult. So like uh, for the inter preparation to the all the fresher, I suggest that uh, like I will say my like uh, introduction my just case uh, we, i i'm not a good student i just get only seven cpi in my throughout the btech career so but what's my best benefit is i am preparing for get so i just scored 28 marks in my first trial in get so my digital electronics microprocessor those kind of stuff are like with my strong point so like uh, to get in uh, get into the vlsi is all about the digital electronics and some kind of pro programming knowledge if you have a good command in digital electronics like good command in terms of like you are capable to solve a, any type of question in the gate like this is like we have a reference also so you are capable to solve any question of gate and uh, you you can implement those uh, circuit digital circuit into your uh, work environment like uh, we have a very log language so so what kind of, like very log is very also simple language if you are just to go if you have a good command in c so for the fresher uh, digital digital electronics c language is must must and must if you have a c plus plus no, no knowledge then it is best for you i'm suggesting the oops concept only 
so yeah those are the things are the must for the fresher to get into the vlsf field thank you thank you for your brief introduction and uh, and um, for for the brief uh, brief part you were telling what telling us about skills so and uh, can we go back to to your interview part when you when you doing giving the interview for the skillless technology what were the question that were asked in that interview okay so uh, like whenever i i was in my btech so that time that company came like every company has their uh, own uh, criteria so they had a criteria that like throughout 60% is uh, required and they conduct a uh, aptitude test and using test uh, so that that's all uh, about uh, like some non 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 tech stuff we can say but uh, uh, whenever they had conduct they had conduct my Uh, two rounds uh, the, both are technical so in the first round they asked about the digital concept uh, like uh, we can say the service based companies interviews is like uh, it's not uh, i'm not i'm not saying that this is tough but uh, it's about the some like uh, how can how can, can we say that it is tactic about the tactic like so they are asking a uh, good question on the digital electronics about the like what is sequential and uh, sequential good question like uh, how can you implement this ffsm using this uh, this kind of flip flop uh, how do you convert those flip flop so they are most focus on the sequential part they also focus on the combinational part but uh, their mo- most priority is about how to you de- dealing with this as in cross counter count sin cross counter how you how do you actually implement the lo- logic uh, uh, so that kind of uh, things they asked and i cleared because uh, i preparing for get so those question are not too too much tough for me and uh, after that uh, after i guess uh, 35 minutes uh, of interview they just uh, uh, ask about my project like what is what are the btech btech project i did so the time i was uh, i did, i had did, did the project on the embedded side so i had created one uh, rfid based milk vending machine so so this complete about the embedded side so they also wanted to know about like why i wanted to switch my embedded embedded things to the vlsi so because i uh, like uh, i was preparing that time uh, about this uh, gate so that time i was met met with one sir edc sir was the kamish vastava so he you know, inspired me a lot about this kind of like vlsi so like uh, so that's why i just tell like that uh, they're saying to them and they also asked me like what kind of things you did what are your responsibilities and so that kind of things they as asked me that time and after that they are uh, directly goes to this oops concept in c language so they ask good question on c like uh, how the dynamic memory allocation happen why dynamic concept is not there in c uh, what is static thing what is pointer like function task and they also provide me some they they, they had given me one task like what is the to one and also what is like how do you go they the last they asked me question to do this so i implemented this and they also asked me like what is the oops concept so i just uh, it was a small idea about the oops concept so this i said okay this is the oops okay so they are inspired and uh, like uh, after that uh, say my second round uh, like has connected by one of the se- senior member in my company so he asked me question on the like uh, all, ab- all about the scenario question like the, not 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 a single question is about uh, theory question we can say all are the scenario like how do you what kind of the, like if this situation is happened to you how do you just rectify this they are ask me see see language question like uh, if you are running this code if you are facing this kind of issue which is not related to your technical or coding stuff how do you just uh, uh, get, how do you just basically ap usko kaise matlab ki sambhaloge that's kind of things they wanted to ask and they also stretch on the thing like how i can understand the new things because today's vlsi is like about the new things only like after the 10 years maybe you this currently uvm and the, that kind of things maybe not there so how do you gather the new things because this very must like vast field we can say lots of pros in the cpu lots of protocols are there lots of things are there like no in the service based company you can't guess that you need to work on this thing only maybe they can change your project so you need to work on some uh, something else so how do you collaborate with your uh, like uh, new things how do you uh, grab those new things so they also uh, want to know about from me that uh, what is your attitude to learn the new things 
they also asked me that okay because that time i python i didn't know the, about the python so they asked me okay can you write a program on the python i just said okay i don't know the python he can say okay i will give you one day can you um, do this thing so okay you know, i python is also language so that's why i tell that okay i can do so that kind of attitude they want to know from me so after that my hr round was done so that's about my like uh, uh, interview experience that's a very 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 excellent review for say uh, say excellent experience and according to you what should be the ideal resume look like like uh, uh, did you do any internship apart from the project yeah i did a internship uh, in my embedded because i was my like what happened like vlsa is all about the mtech if you did the mtech then uh, uh, you are just aware about the, what is actually vlsa field in the btech in the tier circles there is no they are not much mm-hmm. focus on this vlsa field so i did all this internship in my embedded domain only so but uh, there was one person uh, he told me that okay vlsa is this so he also gave me internship on like how dma controller work uh, actually in the cpu so i just uh, go through the dma report and all this kind of thing uh, so that's also great, uh, like uh, having give me the good benefit and uh, in my embedded uh, the like with all about the like uh, pro, if you have some kind of sensor and that kind of things in my internship i did i just created complete project there so yeah that's all about the embedded side in my internship i did and uh, next question is that looks the same how does the idea idea resume looks like like what should be included in that resume yeah i i also like uh, going through this phase because uh, whenever we are in the fresher we are we are fresher so that time we said uh, just um, put more lot lots of thing into our resume like put it everything if we did just a small c program and uh, so that's why we are just uh, like putting into our resume that uh, we are expert in the c and that kind of thing what's my suggestion to all the viewers that uh, uh, I, there is no concept of ideal resume there is the concept of simple resume whatever you know just put it those thing only like the, the didn't don't put any extra like marimal uh, sarat kind of thing that i did this i did this just put it whatever you do and in the project part the good main focus part is the your project part whenever you put any project just to saying something like a pro, just uh, give some small introduction to your project no don't give this okay this is my project don't only spawn this uh, small like introduction and uh, try to uh, like uh, just uh, how can i verif- verify yourself that okay you are you did this kind of responsibility so there is one column you should do make that okay there is a responsible part i did this responsibility i did this kind of work i did this kind of work i did this kind of connection that kind of connection so uh, resume should be one or maximum two page i will not suggest to anyone do to so, about more than two page very much simpler okay so there's the i guess the idealism i'm not saying this idea but this there's the my like uh, thinking to see any resume okay thank you for sharing that valuable experience and i must say and the uh, next question is, is that how what keep you motivated like in the in the era of too much competition you know that in the in ocean with a side many 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 new uh, comers are coming so in tough tough competition how you, how what keeps you motivated yeah that's all about like uh, how how you are pas- how you are passionate about the vlsi you know like uh, i i suggest all the people to just uh, create your account on linkedin and just uh, like uh, read the reports and all the kind of that kind of things uh, motivated you because if you are just uh, like a books oriented person you are reading something and uh, you are not much exploring that time what happen Uh, if someone like uh, just uh, give you some like uh, how can i say some task so that time you feel that okay i am just this kind of like book oriented person so being touch with seniors being touch with some expert uh, like vlsa for all if you are connecting with this youtube channel then you also know that okay this kind of talent is also there this kind of talent is also there okay they are they are below average than me but they are currently working with some stm then uh, this kind of company so being touch with uh, uh, like good things is also keep me motivated like uh, people are uh, 
posting there okay this thing i am working on this i am working on this so okay that time i'm just thinking i'm not i'm not competitor to other person i'm just thinking okay should i learn this thing should i learn this okay okay this is new for me okay learn this thing so i'm just compete with myself only but i'm taking reference of some other person okay they are learning this thing so i can do this thing i can do so that thing only motivated me yeah thank you thank you so we are at the end of this interview and uh, yeah many 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 viewers who are watching this video they are you know they also need some boost up from the knowledge from you sir because uh, many of many of the audience who are watching this sir, they are either pursuing the btech in ec final year or doing their mtech so do would, would you like to sir, give, a, give some motivation tips to our viewers so that after watching this video they feel more motivated to, to work harder yeah sure uh, like there is no cons- i am not saying any motivation i am not in motiv- motivation speaker but i just say that whatever you are doing just uh, do with your like uh, uh, like passion uh, this word is means a lot a lot of like uh, because passion if you are passionate about vlsa then and then only go to the vlsa field if you are passionate about this thing then and then only come to this field like uh, if you are passionate then nobody will uh, th- no motivation is required because this fields give you more money uh, no, no like the more money also the like wa- this this is like uh, how can i say cutting edge technology vlsi like uh, all these thing processor are coming this is coming i am also t- uh, like a 1.5 year experience person so i will i'm just saying that been touching with some like uh, some how can i say uh, like this vlsa for all and being touch with some seniors and that kind of thing and just ask them okay what is the thing i should to learn what what is this thing so maybe if you are doing this thing maybe you don't need any motivation or like that so yeah the initiative for this vlsa for all there's a, a like good thing about this uh, medium thank you sir thank you for doing this sir it means a lot yeah yeah thank you thank you vlsa for all